systematic listing means writing down all the different combinations in an ordered way. In this example, we've got a menu with three starters and three mains, and we need to write down all of the combinations of one starter and one main. So if we were picking from this menu and we were getting one starter and one main, what are our options? What are all the different options? So if we take potato skins first, so I'm just going to call that P, we could get chili. And we could take potato skins first with tacos and potato skins and fajitas. So they are all the options with potatoes. With potato skins, we've got three options with potato skins. We could get a salad for starter, and we could get the salad with chili, the salad with tacos, and the salad with fajitas. Or we could get nachos for the starter with chili, with tacos, and with fajitas. So there we've listed all of the possible combinations and we've done it systematically. Okay, one for you to try. So there are numbers in box A and box B. You take one card from box A, one from box B, write down all the possible pairs of numbers that you could get. So if we took one first, we could get one and two, one and four, and one and eight. If we took five, we get five and two, five and four, five and eight. And if we got six, it would be six and two, six and four, and six and eight. So there's three options for one first, three options for five first, and three options for six first. So they are all of our options. Okay, here's a different question. We've got four number cards. Write down all the three digit numbers that can be made from these cards. So again, let's do it in a nice ordered way. So we could have one in the hundreds and two in the tens. Then we could have three in the ones or we could have four in the ones. So they are, they are our two options for having 120 something. Then we could try with 130 something. So still with one in the hundreds, three in the tens, so we could have a two or a four in the ones. And so we've got our options for two in the tens, three in the tens, we could also have four in the tens. So we could have 142 or 143. So they are all the options with one in the hundreds. Then I'll move on and put two in the hundreds. So put two in the hundreds, one in the tens, then I could have three or four in the ones. With two in the hundreds, I could have three in the tens, and then I have one or four in the ones. And also with two in the hundreds, I could have four in the tens, and then a one or a three in the ones. Then I'll move on for three hundreds. So three hundred and with one in the tens, 312 or 314. With two in the tens, I've got 321 and 324. And what's the other option? Four in the tens, so 341 and 342. And finally, I could have four hundreds. I could have one in the tens. So there's two options for that. 412 or 413. I could have four in the hundreds and two in the tens. So 421 or 423. And finally, four in the hundreds 
3 in the tens with 431 or 432. So they are all the different options. There's an easier one for you to try. So there's only three number cards. So write down all the different three digit numbers that can be made from these cards. So we could have five hundreds. If we've got six in the tens, that means we've got seven in the ones. The other option for five hundreds is seven in the tens and six in the ones. If we start with 600, we could have five in the tens and seven in the ones, or seven in the tens and five in the ones. And if we start with 700, we could have 756 or 765. Okay, just two more questions to go then. So give them a go, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Question one. So we're taking one card from box A, one card from box B. We're multiplying them together and we need to write down all the possible answers. So let's just do the listing of the options first and then we'll run over the multiplications after. So we could take nine first, nine from box A, and then we could take three different options. So nine times seven, nine times three, and nine times one. So they're all the options if we take nine first. If we take four first, we'll have four times seven, four times three, and four times one. And if we took two first, we can have two and seven, two and three, and two and one. So they're all the options of numbers we could get, but we need to multiply them together. So nine sevens are 63, nine threes are 27, nine ones are nine. Four sevens are 28, four threes are 12, and four ones are four. Two sevens are 14, two threes are six, and two ones are two. So they are all the different numbers we could get. We could get 63, 27, 9, 28, 12, 4, 14, 6, or 2. The second question gave us three number cards, and we need to write down all the two digit numbers we can make from these cards. So if we had nine in the tens, we could have 92 or 94. If we had two in the tens, that'd be 29 or 24. And if we had four in the tens, we could have 49 or 42. And they are all the options.